What's going on everyone? If you want to learn to build your obliques, I'm going to show you an exercise to do it. These are the wood choppers. This is a fantastic movement because you can really work on developing the rotational part of your abs. So all these muscles down the side here that everyone wants, build out that serratus that everyone's all freaky about. Uh, so the big thing with this obviously is there's different planes of motion that you can do this from. So if I'm starting from an upper plane, I'll start from upper tension here, rotate through to downward tension on the other side. Same opposite here at the bottom. If I reach low, I'm going to grab here and I'm going to transfer upward through the abs to that right side. So obviously this will adjust depending on the gym you are at. Some gyms have tons of adjustable points. Play around with it, see where you feel the most tension and where you feel the most comfortable and then kind of build off that. So the first big thing when you're doing this, it's all about positioning. So you can really position this cable at any given point. Your two typical places are high and low and unfortunately our machine limits us to these two places. Saying so a lot of people have a fully adjustable cable stack and you can just adjust the plane of movement and that's just gonna change where you're initially starting your transfer of tension and ending it. So we're gonna start off with high here. Now the first big thing I like to do when I'm posturing for this is whatever foot is closest to the machine is gonna be, I believe that's parallel with it, as you can see with my foot here. Now my front foot, an easy way to get yourself set up is you're gonna rotate this foot and open your hip. So you're gonna get this look. Uh, if you wanna pass me the camera, give you that POV as you can see it's gonna look like this now from here this way you're really opening yourself for good rotation so if you can see here if I'm extended upward my oblique is already engaged my left oblique I can pull that tension all the way through to my right oblique now where a lot of people go wrong is they try and do it with their arms so it'll look like this this does nothing for me I'm getting none no to some maybe involvement but not what I want so instead I got my arm straight so the foot that is rotated here, the same hand is gonna grab the machine. I know it seems complicated, you will get used to it. You're gonna grab the other. So this is gonna leave this arm straight. Now from here, I'm gonna start by trying to engage my oblique. So I like to crunch into my oblique as best I can. Now from here, I'm gonna pull through that oblique, transferring my head forward, coming through. Now on my other reps, I don't like to turn my head. I like to feel it pulling on that oblique, rotating through, and coming back rotating through and you should feel that tension transfer all the way down from the top to the bottom if you're starting in this upper position let's go through it one more time but on the lower position all right now we're gonna do the same thing from the other side from a low plane of movement so we're gonna do the same thing scoop down grab this cable um, the, how far I like to be people always ask us this really matters you know you don't want to be way up here bye guys you don't want to be way too close I find, you know, two, three feet, whatever, wherever you're comfortable. Now, same thing, this arm's gonna be straight, rotate that front foot, keep that back foot parallel. I'm gonna grab this. Now, another thing is I like to have the cable in front of me. I don't like to have the cable behind me. I can't rotate correctly through this. See, I'm gonna get soft. Same here, if I'm way out, it's very awkward in the motion. So I like having this cable just directly in front of me. I have this rotation. My left arm is straight, my right arm's grabbing. Now from here, I'm gonna hold straight, rotate through the oblique, and up. This one's a killer because you're starting from bringing it from your lower obliques, and we're transferring up to our upper rectus abdominis, which is your main kind of six pack, this top four pack, and it will absolutely shred your abs from this angle. So once again, I have the head forward, rotating up and through, down. Now here, it's very important you let the transfer of tension go right into those obliques, up and through. Another key thing to remember, when you're training abs, breathing is everything. This is our diaphragm. I really want you breathing out as you contract that muscle, so at the top, breathing in on the way down. That's how you're really gonna pump blood flow and oxygen to those abs to maximize this movement. Here are three common mistakes you want to avoid when doing this exercise. So mistake number one is neglecting this tension. This is why this exercise is so good. So like if I grab this here, I get set up. As you can see right away, I don't want to start with no tension. Like you can see my abs aren't doing crap here, right? Like this is just turning into a throw around shoulder movement. So instead here, when I actually start with the tension, I'm squeezing in that ab and I rotate through that ab. If you look closely, you'll see the tension switch through my abs. Now this is very tough. And this is more of an advanced thing, but this is how you do things correctly. Um, I find it helps if you close your eyes and imagine, you know, I'm pointing here and then as I rotate through, you're feeling the tension rotate through those abs, starting with those obliques, going up those rectus abdominis, transferring over to the other side. So we're utilizing our whole core, learning how to engage with it and using those breathing um, patterns I told you about earlier. So this one is a little tougher, but if you can keep that tension throughout, pull through it, 
come back with it, you will get the most out of this movement. And number two common mistake is an incorrect range of motion. So a lot of times when people are doing this, they got all the positioning down, everything's good, but they're missing the last portion of the movement. They're gonna go right to here and then stop, right? So wait, what Josh was saying before is you wanna go all the way up and get that full transfer like a beauty here, golf swing, right? all the way to here, okay? <laughs> so envision you're doing a nice golf swing and you're following Boom. through, you get the most out of it. Hole in one, baby. Yeah, buddy. And before I give you common mistake number three, we currently have a summer special summer going on. Summer special. It is amazing. People are taking advantage all through our podcast, our Facebook, our YouTube. Basically, all you have to do is click that first link in the description below. We are taking on a couple people for one-on-one -on -one discounted coaching to get you to the next level. So if you wanna learn more info, click that, okay? So number three is just incorrect body position. You need to make sure this is correct or you're just not gonna be doing a whole lot. So there's a bunch of things that could be going wrong. Just like Josh had mentioned, you could be way too close. It's not gonna allow Whoa. you just to really get that full range of motion that you want. It's gonna be very awkward. You're gonna be too far away from the machine. Uh, your legs could be too close. They could be too wide. A bunch of different things could be going on there that are just gonna limit your range of motion and proper execution of this exercise. So make sure to go back you know, get that positioning down, make sure that front foot is facing forwards to get the most out of this exercise. So we hope you enjoyed this. If you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe. We have tons of great content. We upload weekly, 45 to 50 form videos. Second link in the description. Subscribe, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.